So welcome to the HR Book Club, the series where we meet the authors behind the very best HR books. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Preen Fark, and we're going to be discussing her book, Inclusion. Hi, Preen, how are you? Hi, Leon. I'm great. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. So it makes sense to start with introductions. So um, please introduce yourself to our audience. Yeah, so my name is Perrine Fark. I'm an author, uh, an international keynote speaker, and I help organizations create more inclusive workplaces. So essentially, I deliver workshops and keynote sessions to organizations who want to learn how to create an inclusive work environment. Okay, fantastic. So tell us about Inclusion, the book. Um, what's it about and who's it aimed at? Yeah, so this, obviously this is the book called Inclusion. It's aimed at HR professionals, but also team leaders, um, entrepreneurs managing teams, but also CEOs managing a lot of teams. And it, essentially the challenge it's addressing or the problem it's addressing is uh, employee disengagement. Um, if you look at the statistics that are there, it's about 85% of employees feel disconnected from their work. They feel disengaged at work which leads to employee turnover, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So here I'm sharing uh, practical, actionable uh, strategies for any professional who wants to learn how to create an inclusive team or in an inclusive work environment. Fantastic. So I normally ask what motivates you to write the book, but I suppose in your, what motivates you to get into diversity and inclusion? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, what motivated me to go into di diversity and inclusion was my personal and professional experience. Um, so let me explain or share a story. When I started working in a technology space, in the B2B technology space, um, and I was one of the few women uh, there, it's, it's a very male dominated environment. And especially as I rose to more leadership senior roles, I was uh, the only woman in the room very often which led to a lot of um, hardships. I experienced uh, a lot of hardships. It was, it was particularly challenging to be a, a mother while struggling working in tech. Um, for example, I had to leave you know, at 5 p.m. to pick up the kids from, from nursery and from school, whereas my male counterpart didn't have to do that because they had yeah. a wife at home who would do that. So that's just an example and a story that was actually very common because um, oftentimes we had meetings at 6 p.m., 7 p.m. with San Francisco in the US and right. uh, you know, it was, it was normal. Whereas for me, I had to go home. It was the only time of the day I was with the kids and you know, having dinner with the kids. So um, I wanted to use my personal experience uh, in tech uh, where I saw a lot of lack of inclusion diversity to help organizations tackle that. So it was really my personal and my professional experience that led me to, uh, to write this book really. Yeah, okay, fantastic. So, and how did you find the process of writing a book? Honestly, it was fun. I mean, I'm not saying it was, you know, easy or it was uh, always rosy, etc. Yeah. But honestly, it was fun. And by fun, I mean that um, I just, you know, when you pour everything you have into this thing, it's your project. Yeah. You just, I just, I went, I just went full on. I loved every minute of it. I really did. And I remember distinctly when I, when I, when I finished the manuscript and, you know, we had a, lots of editing versions and yeah. rounds. When we were happy with my editor, with the final, the final version, I remember thinking to myself, I can't wait to write the second one. You know, I was like, I know it was out of work, right. but I can't wait. I just, I enjoy, I really enjoyed the process. Yeah. I really did. It was fun. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you said you, look, you enjoyed it and second one. So is there plans for a, a follow-up or another Well, book? maybe I can share with maybe. you that um, I am actually in the process of signing a book deal with um, a okay. famous uh, publishing house, which I will share the details shortly. Uh, but yes, I am signing a book deal for a second book. I'm super excited about wow. this one. I will reveal the title and the topic shortly, but yes, I am definitely writing my second book. Yes. Early days. Yeah. Yes. Well, if you enjoy the process and you've got something to share, then, then why not? Um, yes. So we always end the book club with a recommendation. So, um, yeah. So is there a, a book that you would recommend to a HR mm. professional that you could share with us? Yes, absolutely. Honestly, that one is like my Bible, like really, okay. I mean, it is. Do you know why? One of the reasons because the author, I, I had the honor to meet him personally. Um, yeah. he's, he's, I'll, I'll say his name in a minute, but he is yeah. also a, a keynote speaker, an international keynote speaker and an author and he does other things. But 
I met him actually twice. He's based in the US, he's American. And I met him twice at an event and he was a keynote speaker and I shook his hand and I met him and just, he was just so amazing. And then yeah. after seeing him on stage, then I read his book. He wrote like five or six or seven. So his name is Patrick Lencioni. You might have heard of him. He's one of the top right. international keynote speakers. His name is Patrick Lencioni. He wrote many books. They're all okay. very good. One of my favorite is called The Advantage. Um, okay. The Advantage, uh, which is about organizational health. I know it sounds very complicated yeah. and cool, but it's about how, as an HR professional, you can create a very healthy organization. He's, there is a second book from him that I love, and it's kind of related. It's called The Five Dysfunctions of a Team. It's called The Five Dysfunctions right. of a Team. It's a bestseller, and it's about basically how, what makes a team successful. And as a HR professional, it's super helpful to know what makes a team successful so you can, can implement HR processes. So long story short, I recommend yeah. The Advantage from Patrick Lencioni and The Five Dysfunctions of a Team from Patrick Lencioni. Okay. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk us through uh, your book and uh, obviously very best wishes with the potential future book and uh, and obviously with the business and the, the mission that you're on uh, to make more inclusive workplaces. Thanks, Perrine. Thank you, Leon, for having me. Thank you.